Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 9 on numeric functions. Python has useful numeric functions for the common mathematical operations. Now let us see them. I already have the Python IDLE open in front of me. So if I create a variable and assign some value to it. Now in order to get the absolute value of x we can use the numeric operation abs of x so this ignores the sign and we get the positive 1.23 now let us say x is a negative number x is equal to minus 2.34 the abs of x will give us the positive value The next numeric operation is max, which gives us the maximum value from a list of values. So if I give the max of 134 and minus 2, Python will tell us what is the maximum value from these values. So it is 100. Similar to the max numeric operation, we have the min numeric operation. And here it gives us the minimum value from all these values. So the minimum value from these values is minus 2. The next numeric operation is round. So let us say there is a variable y and it is 10.23456. Now we can round it off to the nearest integer using round y and this gives us 10. We can also specify the number of decimal places that we want the value to be rounded off to. So for instance round y to two decimal places and it gives us 10.23. Apart from these numeric operations there is the math module in Python, which has several useful numeric functions. But first we need to import it. So how we import it is by using the import statement, import math. And now we can use the numeric functions in the math module. For instance, there is a seal function, math.seal. And what this does is, it gives us the smallest integer, which is greater than or equal to the input. The input is 10.1, so this should give us 11. Next, we have the factorial numeric function, math dot factorial. And let us say I want to find out the factorial of 5 which means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 and this gives us 120. Now every time we have to use any numeric function in the math module we have to type math dot the name of the function. If we want to avoid it we can use another form of the import statement like from math import asterisk here asterisk means all public names in the math module now we don't have to type math dot we can simply type in the name of the numeric function another function in the math module is floor this gives us the largest integer which is less than or equal to the input so here it gives us 10. We also have the GCD numeric function in the math module and it returns the greatest common divisor of two integers. So for example, I want to find out what is the greatest divisor that divides both 9 and 12. So it gives us 3. There is the trunk numeric function. And what this does is, 
it returns the integer value of the input argument so it will remove the decimal part so this gives us one there is the function to find out the square root of a number in the math module the square root of 9 is 3.0 apart from these the math module also has functions to compute logarithmic and all trigonometric functions like cosine arc cosine sine tangent and so on the math module also has constants for example the value of pi so the math module as we can see has many useful numeric functions that we can use in our code so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial